Well, let's get to work. We got some peas to clean. We're gonna get all the equipment around, get it all set up. Got some trucks to start. Got to move some augers around, some conveyors, some tractors, and get that crazy concoction out there. Let's get to work. Wow. Either that's low compression or that starter cranks 10 times faster than I've heard a starter crank. <laughs> wow. Okay, gotta get, we got uh, one truck around. We're gonna, of course, as you see, saw a moment ago that we're cleaning peas, getting it all around so that uh, we can spend the next couple days cleaning. So one of the trucks we're gonna use is uh, Red Pete. Thing's been sleeping long enough. It's been uh, in the pasture here, or the corral, and uh, probably needs to be broke. It's not green, but uh, just like in the spring when you got horses, and you're ready to start using them, you gotta get their attention. We we're gonna try to start it with a cold start. So let me turn the battery switches on, make sure they're grounding, okay? I'm gonna have to go get some electrical help. Uh, I don't think these are um, Tesla truck. I don't think it is. Oh my word. Dad had the jumper cables on the wrong terminals. We're good though, he's getting uh, some uh, starting fluid. This truck was a little low on batteries. He came over and tried to start it and it just went Rrr. So um, with the jump pack, with his pickup, I'm hoping we have enough cranking amps to turn this 3406B over and get her fired up because this is going to be a good truck to do what we need to do. I don't think he turned both switches. Let me turn that one. Let's give it a try. I just realized there's two cutoffs and uh, pretty sure he only had the one on. Let's take a look and see. I bet it'll start now. Oh yeah. There's no step. Uh -huh. Almost had it. It was running. I should have given it some gas. Now to the 9370. Second thought, no 9370. I think we'll be good with just two trucks. So we're gonna go grab the old Dodge that we worked on a couple weeks ago and have that thing running as our screenings because it'll be a great truck for that. That's kind of why we got the thing fixed up. Let's go get it. That is not on there very well. Still running good. Not as good as I'd like though. I, I really think that 350 should have a little more power than it does. Um, might have to take it somewhere and see if someone has some ideas on maybe how to improve that power, but maybe it's the cam, who knows. Hard to say, we don't know about that engine, unknown engine. All right, so let's go get the backhoe conveyor.
you're all thinking, no crazy drive when we're pulling the backhoe. That's worth about 10 times the value of this pickup. <laughs> True story. But this pickup's got sentimental value. And that counts. trying to do here is if we can get everything shoved over as far as we can to this shop that might give us enough concrete real estate to hopefully have the trucks dump on the concrete here and then when it comes time to clean up and sweep a mess it's a little easier but I don't know if we're gonna have enough so we'll see might just have to pour a bigger slab one of these days we just got to get this cleanings auger screenings winched up swung over and see how we're sitting with this truck far as that motor will go okay so I gotta pin it right go back a little bit no this towards way. me me a little bit towards me there, there we go right there what is that enough yeah that'll work we can just slowly drive the truck forward as needed Wait. Oh. It's basically perfectly level north south, but east west it's got to have this side picked up quite a bit. A little bit more. I'd say we're right on the money. Good. Say we're frozen. Trailer brakes are probably froze solid. I need a push from the skid steer. All right. What? That's a new one. I have never seen that happen before. Ha! Oh. Okay. Was it stuck to the ground? It literally tore the tore the cap right off of it. That's what you get for having capped capped wheels, I guess, huh? Retreaded. How are these? I know they probably need air in a bunch of these. I figured that was much, but I've never seen them rip the tread off like that just from starting off. But maybe they were froze to the ground. Doesn't matter. There's ice on the ground there. I don't know. Just a little nudge, that's all we needed. Just a little nudge. Now 
it's getting later and a cold little cold front just moved in and the temperature dropped significantly and so we're gonna pick this up tomorrow because peas are really fragile especially when they're cold and they can shell really easily and crack so we would like to avoid that as much as possible tomorrow's supposed to be over 40 degrees fahrenheit it's a better day to do it let's go inside tomorrow drink coffee and tea well a couple days later but i think we're ready to roll some peas for this machine so let's fire her up and see what happens here start with the batco conveyor then work our way down the line, start turning everything on, start running the gate open, and hopefully we end up with some clean peas at the end of the day. Now one thing about the conveyor is they can just idle. There's not a lot of volume coming out of there. So we'll just let it do its thing. So while Dad's getting the hopper down here sealed off so peas don't leak everywhere, just a little duct tape and some holes. We'll fill the hopper up, run the feed auger, start filling this hopper up here, we have a sight glass so we can see where it's at. Everything will be running then. And then I'll open the gate here, which will then allow the flow of peas to drop down into our homemade screen or clean air screen here. And the wind from this fan down here is gonna blow a stream of air, which is gonna separate the light stuff from the heavy stuff. It's blow the light cracked peas and shells over on this end. They're gonna land down here. End up down in this auger which will then take it up into the screenings, cleaning, or screenings truck over here. That's all the junk that we don't want. And the good stuff will fall down, drop into the, this eight inch auger here, which you can see is open. And that'll run it up into this cleaner. And this is more of a scalper. And so this will do all the scalping. It'll take in size, basically the large piece and all the cracks and splits and rocks will then be separated from this. And the junk is going to end up down there, which will go back up to the very front, which will end up in this truck like the rest. And the good stuff is going to shake off right here, go into the backhoe conveyor, and end up in that old truck over there. Does that make sense? Let's do it. Fill this up with some peas. Make sure it doesn't spill over. We'll just get it to where it's uh, full, full, so it'll always have peas on it. I see we didn't write the fan speed settings on here. I kind of remember it being 29 or 30 or something. I guess we're going to have to experiment so we can find the sweet spot again. But when we get it figured out, I'm going to sharpie on here. All the settings we need so we can do this right. Oh, look at this. There goes this guy in his new ride. Second time for him driving it. And he had a big grin on his face, I'll tell you that. Oh yeah. 12 miles an hour driving all the way to his house. Be a lot faster this time around. All right, well, I guess we'll start firing things up. See, that right there is exactly the kind of rocks that we want to get out of this. So, yeah, yeah, that ought to work. I think that'll work nice. It's a little windy today. It's been windy for the past week and a half, but it also is 50 degrees out right now. You can see, 
the ground's thawed. A lot of moving. So we'll see how much we can get done because I think the bin yard is still covered in mud. But at least we got this truck full. We'll clean this truck into that one and then see about going back and get more pee if we can. Time will tell. Let's give it a shot with what's in that scalper right now. Well, we're gonna shut down for a day. Like I said, the bin site's a swampy mess right now, so it's supposed to cool down in the next two days. So when that happens, we'll wait for the ground to freeze, then get the auger in there, unload that truck, and then load up a new load of uh, some peas that he cleaned. But that's a thousand bushels done, and almost a five gallon pail full of, oh. Uh. Huh. I guess we clean Tweety Tweets too. Anyways, we're bucket full of grasshopper bodies and rocks. All right, we'll pick this up in a minute, like in two days. We'll see you then.